has the substance act first entry into force is very long time is uh, since 7 of April 1992 the objective of this act is uh, first is to ensure that has that substance is only handling by the right person and the second is to prevent the misuse of the chemical for the modernized and appropriate we has uh, right now we have the second uh, twice amendment one happened in the the year 2000 and the second one is happened in the the year 2008 and the third will be coming in this year we are on the process of amend uh, some topic in our act in the act say that the control substance we have to classify the hazardous substance into four types type one is the chemical that we need to monitor so we have put some specific criteria that uh, the one who dealing with that chemical have to carry on type 2 is uh, the chemical that we need to know who who are dealing with that chemical so we set uh, a, a set of uh, control measure that uh, they have to register and notify us that they, what activity that they would like to dealing with that chemical and also they have to comply to a specific criteria also. If we classify the chemical into type 3, that is the chemical that more serious to control, so we set a set up a control measure that is they have to register and have to apply for a license before carry on the activity. And it's the same that is they have to comply with a specific criteria. But if the chemical that we put it in the control list as type 4, it is prohibited. We issue, we announce this control list that is uh, maybe some uh, agenda behind this control list because we would like to develop the existing list. So we need the manufacturer and importer to notify us what chemical that they produce or import into Thailand. That is uh, the data that we can gathering to develop the Thailand existing list in the future. Who shall and shall not be regulated? The has, as I told you, that is uh, one is the manufacturer have to control under the Hazardous Substance Act. And this is the four chart that is uh, if they're dealing with type one, what they have to do, type two, what they, they have to do, and type T, what they have to do. I did not have a full chart of type four because we have uh, already prohibited. This is uh, right now we have uh, three agency under the Hazardous Substance Act has already issued a notification of to implement the GSS. First is the Department of Industrial Work. We issue a notification uh, since uh, 2012, and we have uh, a grace period for substance that is one year and five year for mixture. So in March next year, we will uh, entry into force for the mixture. The second agency is the FDA has already announced for the implementation of GSS also in March 2015. So this year, there has already entry into force for the substance and for the 2020, they will enter into force for the mixture. Like uh, Department of Livestock Development also, they has the, the notification 2015 also, and they have a one-year grace period for single substance and five years for uh, mixture. Let's say that is a three agency, we just only use one provision attached to Ministry of Industry notification. So the uh, detail of the labeling and the GSS, the SDS is the same. When we implement the GSS, we know that it's really hard for Thai people to access for all English version. So we translate all 
English into Thai and we post in our website. We have uh, more than uh, 500 chemical in our database so everyone can access and can uh, gathering the information for the for them to develop the labeling or the SDS. This is uh, the roadmap that uh, we plan to do. And in this year, we has uh, my department has already announced that for the preliminary existing chemicalist that uh, we have for the starting one, we have uh, 9,000 chemicals in the, our period. And we have already announced the first cut-off date. That is the end of this year. That is uh, who notified before the end of this year. If that in chemical information meet our requirement, all chemical that is will be put in the first in the first existing chemical list of Thailand. And in parallel to develop the existing one, existing, existing chemical list, we also develop the, uh, maybe called the appropriate control measure to, to carry on, that is uh, to balance between the threat and the safety of uh, hum uh, our people, health, and environment. Mm -hmm.